Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So yesterday, Malta selected their song for Junior Eurovision 2022. So they had a national selection whereby I believe they had like 16 songs, I think, to select, to pick from. Uh, Malta has selected Gaia, Gaia Gambusa with Diamonds in the Skies. Now, I haven't heard any of the songs from the Maltese national final, so I'm quite looking forward to actually hearing this one and hopefully at some point I will get around to listening to the other ones so please do comment below if there are any kind of standouts from yesterday that I didn't obviously get the nod for Malta. Before I kind of, kind of, before I react let's just make a few kind of notes regarding Malta at Junior Eurovision. First and foremostly it doesn't go unnoticed that like Malta has been in Junior Eurovision from the beginning right so I think it started in 2003 and I think they pretty much participated every year. They've participated 16 times overall. And during this journey, they've managed to uh, successfully win twice. <laughs> so they won with um, Gaia Kauki uh, with the song The Star in It's a nice song. I have to say it didn't kind of resonate with me at the time and it hasn't stayed with me since. But certainly her as an artist, I am familiar with. So Junior Eurovision was used as a platform, I assume, to then uh, feature in X Factor in the UK. Hello. 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 What's your name, please? My name is Gaia Kauki. I am 15 years old and I come from Malta. Oh, 15 where she did really well, actually. She got to judges' houses and then Robbie Williams said no further. Um, but I will say she released a song, I think it was 2019, um, uh, what's it called? Why Should I? <laughs> Very, very good, check it out. Obviously, for Eurovision fans, we all know Destiny. So Destiny made her kind of jumpstart into the Eurovision world through Junior Eurovision when she won in 2015 with Not My Soul. That song resonated with me at the time. I think that was the first Junior Eurovision I watched in full, actually. I haven't followed the contest religiously since it started, but I remember watching that year, and I just remember that song and her performance standing out. And obviously, since then, well, I mean, what she did, Britain's Got Talent, where she successfully got to the finals. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm excited and I'm nervous. What's your name? My name is Destiny. I'm from Malta <laughs> and I'm 14 years old. 14? She obviously got internally selected. Well, she won Malta's, uh, Malta's X Factor to then represent Malta in 2020 with All of my love. All of my love, like a river running wild. Every brother, mother, child. Rhythm, running, wow. The Eurovision that never happened. Now that song was like easily top three that year for me. And that song still is on my playlists, a multitude of playlists for different moods, different days, different occasions. I absolutely love that song. I really do think that that song would have delivered had Eurovision gone ahead. And obviously 2021, we've got Je Me Casse. Excuse my French. I believed 
was completely screwed over by the televote. I don't understand why that was so low. I know she performed early, but that song was a quality song. And what did that come? Like seventh in the end? Which was still a really, really good result for Malta, thinking about in regards to comparing it to previous efforts. The final note to make is actually Junior Eurovision is a great platform in Malta to then go further in regards to adult Eurovision. So remember um, Nicole as a party, is it? Where she was uh, in the Maltese national final last year for adult Eurovision with the song Into the Fire, which was a bop. I'm falling off. Now, she represented Malta at Junior Eurovision in 2010 with a not as good song, <laughs> Knock Knock Boom Boom, which came, it didn't, I don't think it, it rocked any boats, I don't think it came top 10. So, yeah. So, before I watch this, in regards to last year, for me, I think this can only go up. I wasn't a massive fan of, um, was it Ica and Kaya? 16 is Malta with Aika and Kaya, My Home. And I think out of all the songs last year, I had it in like 16th position. I wasn't a huge fan. It wasn't a bad song. There were just, just happened to be 15 songs better. So for me, Malta can only go up. So uh, let's check out Malta's junior Eurovision song for 2020. Favourite. Cool, they're really delivering on the introduction. Poor Gaia, she's like, I'm tired. <laughs> How long have I got to dance for? Okay. What's with that really lengthy intro? Uh, hello, Princess Leia with the buns. Interesting. We're going to space. Wow, that's naive, Shane. It's called Diamonds in the Skies. Of course, there would be a space reference. Is there an audience there? If the atmosphere real feels really flat, are they judges there? That's really intimidating. Have we got to the chorus yet? Oh, Gaia. So I'm going to apply what I say about adult Eurovision. I'm not a huge fan of replacing choruses with instrumentals. I mean, it can be done really, really well. I mean, like Moldova and Sugar. I loved that song. And that didn't really have a chorus. That was a beat. It has to be infectious. It has to be an infectious beat. Let's see how it goes. But normally I'm not a huge fan of replacing choruses with a dance break. It's not an easy song to sing. Um, why are the adults not smiling on the right hand side? I'd be like, guy, don't look at them. They're, like, they're miserable. Like, her performance is really impressive. I'm smiling. Why are they not smiling? Two, three. Okay, so obviously this is a national final and there's plenty of time for December to obviously shake things up a little bit. So obviously the choreo choreography needs to be a little tighter, uh, but I must say they've given her not simple choreography based on the fact that she's having to deliver a vocal. And I don't think actually the song's that easy to sing in regards to the tones. Like a couple of these notes, she's going quite low. That's not easy to do. So they're certainly giving her barriers, they're giving her cardio to do. 
but she's doing it efficiently like her vocals haven't deteriorated and we're two minutes and 32 in so good girl well minus the long intro at the beginning <laughs> This is better than last year. I can safely say that for a fact. And what, that came 12th out of what, 18. So that's a positive. Okay, why do I feel like I'm actually quite liking it now? <laughs> I'm confused. Is this the chorus that I have I just missed it throughout? Because if this is the chorus, it was not evident. This is quite catchy. Let me go back. I want to go back to the um the the pause because I started to get into it then. This bit. I'm quite intrigued now. There's like different layers. So what was it? It was Poland's that I said was quite cyclical and repetitive. This isn't that. Um, it shakes it up in the production. Sorry, my brace is probably making a noise. Shakes it up in the production. I'm quite intrigued now. Do you know what? I'm going to massively credit her confidence. Like, she hasn't dropped confidence from the beginning. She looks like she's enjoying it. She doesn't look nervous whatsoever. And she's got a really infectious smile. She kind of draws you in. Go her. I kind of like this 80s throwback beat that they've got in the production as well. Okay, so why am I suddenly into it? Because I was preparing myself to be like, I'm not a massive fan. Oh, bless her. Okay, I can't believe that I ended that song by basically actually wanting to listen to it again. I wasn't sure at the beginning. Um, but like I said, when it slows down just before the, the final bridge, before the final chorus, I'm actually quite interested. And actually, I'm quite into the 80s beat. For me, I just wasn't a huge fan. <laughs> of three things I think at the beginning which was slightly off-putting so the reference to space but obviously it's diamonds in the sky diamonds in the sky I mean she says it enough now that that's in my head um I also am never a huge fan of using one two three in your lyrics um, and moreover I'm not a massive fan of a dance break in replacing a chorus unless that dance break has something quite special about it it's catchy or it's infectious which I didn't think it was but it seems that at the end they added on which I thought was a bridge onto that chorus beat and I quite liked it by the time I got to the end of the song I actually quite liked it so I will say controversially for me I still think that the Netherlands has the best song so far. Um, I would like to see the Ukraine perform, the Ukraine, sorry, Ukraine perform theirs live before I make any grand statements about that one. And moreover, I think Poland, obviously we need to hear the studio version. I think this is my second favourite so far. This is my second favourite so far. Because I think it is that interesting bridge between a juvenile junior song and an adult song it's not trying to be an adult song which sometimes is off-putting for me at junior eurovision but it's also not the other spectrum where it's juvenile and just for an adult i would say unpleasant on the ears but that's not fair it's a really nice bridge um so as a result of that i think that's quite a good effort i actually don't mind it i didn't think i was going to halfway through i was like oh what am i gonna say but the saving grace was the last third of that song the last third of that song. So obviously we've got until December to shake up the uh, the, the choreography, make sure it's obviously more tighter. So Gaia, I thought you delivered a really, really good performance there. And moreover, that song is, a, is, is not a bad song, actually. I, this is much better than last year. I think this is going to do much better than last year. And what they came 12th with a song I wasn't a huge fan of. So for me, the only way is up. Baby, 
you and me now. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. Please uh, leave comments below, actually. And do suggest any of the other songs in the national final that uh, you thought were good. Uh, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.